Hello YouTube, it's Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Time again for another pocket dump deconstruction. It is hot. It's in the morning on the east coast of the US and it is hot. <laughs> 72, 75 degrees, burning up. I'm in one of these older apartment buildings um, and it's huge, a big, big city block. And every time it needs to change from air conditioning to heat, it takes like a, a week to change over. So they keep estimating when to change over. It's an interesting process. So right now I'm on a fan before my apartment turns on to air conditioning. Great air conditioning once it's on. Great heat once it's on. <laughs> but there's this uh, time in between. So I'm sweating while I'm doing this. And that was a lot of chatter before we talked about the knives, right? It is Wednesday, April 10th, 2019. I will be doing... Uh, I'm going through my collection as we speak, and I will be trimming the collection. Uh, in this carry, the knife that I'm carrying and the knife that almost made the EDC, these two, they will be included. And those are two of the newer Spyderco knives that I have. I also have some Chris Reeve knives, some Microtech knives, etc. So first come, first serve. It'll be on Saturday. Uh, I hope you guys join the trimming, the sale. I only do it to the people here on uh, YouTube. So let's talk about what we have. Um, this is my Concord Impresario, which I just love. You can see the see-through back. It's a nice automatic. One day I'm going to have to get new watches. I, I, I have bought new watches, two of them, and they're Apple watches, <laughs> but not mechanical ones. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, I love this Juan Lopez. Picked it out of one of my human doors. Oh, it's going to be nice. I'm going to sit on my balcony and smoke a cigar when I get back home. Ah. Uh, I love it. Sometimes people ask, well, you have a cigar in your pocket dump. Um, are you smoking it? Well, I don't smoke it outside with the smokers in the garage of work. I do carry it because I actually do sniff it a lot. I wear, I wear dress shirts and uh, I have that in there and you know, you're allowed to carry a cigar. You're just not allowed to light it and smoke it. <laughs> so, <laughs> people in the department know there might be some problems if I keep pulling out the cigar and sniffing it. <laughs> that might be a hint that he's not that happy. Um, this is my Shone Design pen. You guys know I only carry Shone Design pens. I only have three. I keep saying, I need to buy, I need to buy, but there's been so many other things to buy. Um, but this is the titanium shown design pen. I love that it just has one screw and uh, just a real nice pen. These are the earlier ones. Now they have them with clips, but I haven't done the clip yet. Today is a Scotch day, nice regular Scotch, none of the expensive stuff, but oh, I need it. One of my uh, Mont Blanc thin wallets, someone left a, a note saying, hey, you should talk about more about your coin collection and things, and you guys know who have been with me for a while, from time to time I threaten to do that. Uh, I have just been low on energy, um, but I do collect silver coins. I carry one in my pocket all the time. The reason I do is my grandfather used to always carry a silver dollar. When uh, American coins were actually made of 
silver. And so I used to love that. You'd be surprised what we used to be able to buy with a silver dollar. A lot of penny candy. Too much penny candy. Um, but I do this for good luck. This happens to be an Australian kangaroo, a special Australian kangaroo. Let's see what year. 2010. It's a proof kangaroo. And you can tell this one is smaller than the usual coin, but it's still one ounce. And so you can see it's thicker. Smaller, but thicker. It's still one ounce coin. Let's take the knives off of my notepad. Smithson notepad, a UK company. So I, I'll tell you, I I really am loving all of my <laughs> Serge Pachenko um, claw coins. I probably would carry those every day, but I like to have some variety in my keychain. So this time I'm carrying. This was the first collaboration with Spydeco and Serge Bachenko. It's his dog tag knife. This is the one of four of them. He actually did four of them. He did three in this Gen 1 version, then he did a Gen 2 version. This one is, it's all titanium. I love all the different colors. Um, his dog tag knives are real nice. This is S30V steel bead blasted, sheep's foot knife. It is a slip joint, but just put your finger spidey hole and it really gives a nice little finger lock up <laughs> to it. It's called a, whoops, it's called a dog tag knife because of course you could put a chain around it and wear it around your neck and it's the dimensions of a dog tag. 1.2 inch blade, 3.2 inches total in length when it's open. Just a real wonderful knife. That's the first one. Um, and again, there are three other dog tag knives. Two other ones that I own, um, one with carbon fiber and the other is a blacked out version. I just got this not too long ago. In fact, this was part of my, both of these knives came together as the last, um, these two and another one came. This was the last package I got from Spydeco. These are available now at Blade HQ and other places. It will be available this Saturday. Uh, there's no pre-buying. Remember, it's first come, first serve. This is the Spydeco Paramilitary 2. You guys know about the Paramilitary 2. It is the go-to EDC knife from Spydeco. It really is. Of course, it's in that military family. The military is a bigger knife. And for years, everyone was asking Spydeco to do a smaller version, and that's the paramilitary and then the paramilitary too with the yes compression lock most people know of Spydeco and the compression lock because of the paramilitary too they've been using it years decades before this knife but uh, it's a very strong knife very smooth right out of the package this is a black coated blade, S30V steel, CPM S30V steel. I'm sorry. <laughs> what is wrong with me? S, it's CPM S35VN steel. That's why this is a special knife. Black coated blade, as you can see, it's CPM S35VN steel. So it's upgraded from S30V. Of course, it has the black G10 scales, huge lanyard hole from Spydeco's perspective. The military knives and Mannix are two regular knives that have full-size lanyard holes. The clip and all the hardware is black. The clip is four-way, right hand, left hand, tip up, tip down, and it does have 
skeletonized liners. 3.4 inch blade. You take out that forward choil, the part that uses the blade, and it's a three inch edge. Weighs just over 3.7 ounces. Between 3.7 and 3.8 ounces. The total length is 8.3. And it's a beast of a knife. The newer knife. You know, I did a, a trimming not too long ago. And I think I had, what, eight paramilitary twos or something like that. Six to eight. Six to eight pair of threes. Well, this time around, not too many pair of twos. We'll have a few. And no pair of threes. But this is the newer version of it. This is the carry. This is the knife that got away. I was thinking about carrying this one. Of course, this is a Blade HQ exclusive. Their most recent exclusive. They've announced that they're coming out with a Yojimbo 2. A Yojimbo 2 with a black blade. Again, CPM M4 steel. This thing sold out in a matter of minutes. It opened, then it closed, sold out. So, super hard to find. Unless it's on the secondary market, marked up. I like the Shaman. This, by the way, is the Spidaco Shaman. I thought about the Yojimbo that's coming. This is the Spidaco Shaman. Some people, because it's it's built for hard use, mine, of course, <laughs> I don't do hard use, but um, a lot of people are saying for their use, it's kind of replaced a paramilitary two for them. Full flat ground blade. CPM M4 steel, just a wonderful cutting steel. 3.6 in, inch blade. Again, it has that forward choil. The Shaman is a big version of the Spydeco Native. And so, if you love a Native, but you want it supersized, this is the supersized version of it. Remember, it's Crucible's M4 steel. It's a great steel, hard to find knife. I'm going to include this in the trimming, even though I love my shamans. 3.6 inch blade, that's three inches when you take out the forward choil. Three inch, just like that one. Three inch um, edge. Natural G10, which is this green G10 see-through, so you can see the liners and how they're skeletonized. See the skeletonized liners? And again, this too. Oh, man. <laughs> this thing, look at that. It just falls. <laughs> Compression lock. The clip, different clip. It's that three-screw clip. But four-way, left, right, up, down, see-through construction. Has a little bit of backspacer right here. Does have a little bit of backspacer. And smooth and sharp as silk. <sighs> Beautiful knife. The reason I said it's going to be included is if I didn't, on Saturday, I'd still be waffling. So... <laughs> I want you guys to hold my feet through the fire. I'm going to include this. Both of these knives, actually. In the trimming on Saturday. You guys, that's my pocket dump deconstruction. Hope you have a perfect day. I really do. Keep those, po no matter when you watch this, I hope your day is a good one. Take good care of yourselves. Don't forget to subscribe and Turn on the bell. That will notify you when my videos are up. That's important when we do trimming on Saturday. Because as soon as it's up, it's first come, first serve. Okay? Keep those pockets full. 
Goodbye.